Welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is Terraform Ansible integration. We will integrate Terraform with Ansible. Now the question is why do we need both Terraform and Ansible? Well, good question. So they each serve a different purpose and complement each other. Terraform is designed to provision different infrastructure component. On the other hand, Ansible is a configuration management and application deployment tool. So what does it mean? It means that you will use Terraform first to create a virtual machine and then use Ansible to install the necessary application on that machine. But by default, these two are separate tools. In order to make them work together, we need to integrate Terraform Managed or Node with Ansible Control Node. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Terraform with Ansible. I am going to create EC2 instance in AWS and install Nginx on that EC2 instance through Ansible. So let's see how to do that. So first we will create a AWS key pair and then uh, create Ansible uh, playbook for Nginx and then uh, create Terraform code to create Nginx. Later on we'll create a Terraform local variables and create AWS security group with Terraform and create a Terraform AWS instance resource then we'll create a uh, output variables, Terraform output variables. Then finally we will run, I uh, will uh, Terraform uh, initialize and then apply it. And then finally we'll verify whether the Nginx is installed or not. Okay, so these are the steps that we are going to do in this video. Okay. So this is the our uh, local terminal. Okay, so we will first, uh, as usual, we will create a directory over here. So mkdir integration. Okay, cd integration. So first what we will do, we will uh, create a key pair. Okay, so the key pair we have already created in this, uh, so in this uh, uh, console, so OEO, we have selected the OEO and here I will create uh, EC2 instance and install the Nginx. Okay, so here I have already created a key pair. The key pair name is OEO. Okay, so this has been already created. So we'll keep over here, so vi over here, so this is our key, okay, we will save over here, okay, but we need to change the permission. So read write permission over here. So we need to change it. CH mode 400. It should be read only permission. So yeah, that's fine. So now we'll create a main file. No, we'll create in a sequence. What we'll create? So we'll create an Ansible playbook. Okay for Nginx. So, vi Nginx dot yaml So, here the Ansible playbooks. What I am going to do over here 
so we just host we kept all okay becomes yes and becomes user is root because root user is required to install the nginx and then task task what i am going to do this is this is just uh, the name ensure the nginx is on the latest version so apt this is basically install it is going to install apt first it will update okay update the cache and then will install the nginx latest version okay and after that what i am going to do i am just starting the nginx server okay so system this is the command basically system id and state is started nginx name so will first create the nginx from here and then will start it okay so let's save now so we have two files okay pm file and then uh, yaml file okay so now we'll create a terraform code to create nginx okay so we will include over there variables as well as security group and uh, then ec2 instance and then output variable as well okay main dot tf vi main dot tf so this is the file which i have written okay so let me explain in details what exactly it is going to do okay so this is the terraform hashicorp okay so we, we are using the aws provider over here and this is the access key and then secret key okay so this is the variable which is not required because i am already using the local variable so i am not going to use this one so let's remove that okay so this is our local variable okay so here the vpc which i have mentioned okay subnet id okay under this uh, vpc this is the subnet id and the private key path so it is our in the local directory so that's why this is uh, this indicating the local directory so oeo.pm this pm file private key is is a path so i will use this path okay this variable basically i will i will use this local dot private key path okay so now uh, security group we are creating so this is the nginx security group name i have given under under the same vpc which is mentioned in the local dot variables okay so local dot variables so this is the uh, vpc and then ingress we have kept two ingress one is the for ssh connectivity that is port number 22 and other is for uh, uh, port 80 that we will uh, we will see in the uh, browser okay so this is the port 80 so two ingress i am i am using over here and 000 cid cid or block we have taken uh, because uh, it's for all okay and one is the ingress rule as well okay so this is minus minus is for a from anywhere and this is for the all right so this is the instance which i am creating over here the nginx ins okay ami i am using this one and then instance type i am using the t2 medium okay security group which i have mentioned or uh, which i have created earlier so the same security group i have put it over here the key name i have taken the oeo okay and then tag it will show the nginx server I mean, I mean when when the instance is created the name of the inst uh, name of the instance will be nginx server then this is the important one this is the provisioner so we will use the remote provisioner as well to connect with the nginx server okay so so remote provisioner is uh, basically this is the inline echo wait until the ssh is ready so for connectivity is ready so this indicate this will indicate over here so connection is type ssh and the user we are using the ubuntu server so uh, ubuntu ubuntu the user is and then private key is the file 
uh, file uh, dot oeo dot pm pm file so we have the private key on in this directory so local directory so that this is i have mentioned the local directory okay and the host is nothing but a self dot public ip so it is the same so for the instance the first instance created for this okay public ip so it's a self okay and then this this is the basically local exec so ansible will execute this part okay so everything will be created through terraform of all these things now the ansible playbook will run ansible playbook so it will be uh, run by the ansible so here the command is ansible playbook hyphen i and this is the public ip of the aws instance and then private key that i have mentioned the local variable path okay private key path okay and this is the basically our, uh, our yaml file but here i need to change this one because i have created the nginx nginx dot yaml file right and this is the output of the uh, server private ip this is the output of the private ip aws instance nginx ins and it will show the private ip fine so and one more thing we have to create the cfg file as well so let's first save this one okay so we have three files right one more file need to create that n ansible.cfg vi ansible.cfg so this is uh, which i have written okay so remote user uh, cfg file we have to provide the remote user as well as uh, the host key checking is false okay so remote user we are using the ubuntu so that's why I have mentioned over here and the host key checking is false. Okay. So everything we have created now. So this pair I have already shown the playbook is already written now and then code are also created variable is under that code and the security group and AWS instance and output all are under the uh, Terraform code okay so now we will uh, run that one first we will initialize it and then apply and we'll check whether the nginx has been stalled or not okay so right. all four us four files are there right okay now let's clear the screen terraform in it It is initialized now okay let's apply the terraform okay we also execute the command uh, terraform plan but here i am skipping it's uh, uh, not necessary but yeah it's an ideal situation yes it should be but i am uh, skipping that one so i am directly applying the terraform terraform apply before applying just check is there any instance over there so no instance is running right nothing is there so let's uh, let's apply now it will ask do you want to proceed yes So here it is indicating the plan is two to add and read this per things they are going to connect it is now connected right it is showing the connected now executing the local exact 
okay so ansible uh, playbook is is running and here it is so apply command uh, resource to is added okay and output is also showing this one okay so this is our output uh, output of the ip address okay so let's copy this one i can directly copy from here and even we can use the from copy from here as well let's check the instance yes instance has been initializing so let's complete it then we will check whether the nginx on this server nginx server is installed or not we have to wait for couple of me couple of minutes still initializing And here it is now checks status is two by two pass okay so it is now created instance is created okay an ip address which i have already copied from here the same ip address is showing okay so now we'll open the new browser and just put over here the public ip address and we'll check whether the nginx is installed or not so here it is so welcome to nginx so if you see this one, that means the web server is successfully installed and working and you can do further steps. Okay. So now in this video, you have learned how to integrate the two most common infrastructure, Terraform and Ansible uh, as a core tool to create continuous infrastructure automation, right? Okay, so well, uh, if you have any query, uh, then leave the message in the comment section. We'll reply soon. We'll meet again with the new video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, please.